Good afternoon, everybody. We'll start today's uh, lecture. We have a, a psychology class with uh, Mrs. Divya Jain, maximizing the impact, striking with confidence. Divya, are you there? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, uh, just before we, we start, tomorrow will be last lecture and we'll have um, uh, a summary of all the classes uh, we've had so far and we'll uh, take up some, some uh, topics which have been requested um, and uh, then we'll have a question and answers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's all yours. Okay. Uh, today, we are going to talk about confidence. Baat karne wale uh, and I think as a coach, instilling confidence in your players is one of the most important things uh, that you need to do. I remember when I saw the first time boxing ka match or I was working with boxers, ke kaam kar rahe thi, I realized how difficult uh, a sport it is. I mean, one time you have punch sar pe lag gaya naak pe lag gaya it can actually a hard punch can really uh, disorient you throw you off uh, so every time aap us ring mein jate ho and you know ki itna difficult hone wala hai conflict hone wala hai sometimes it can be a little stressful and in that case agar hum full confidence ke sath nahi jate hain what will happen is ki hum log doubt karte rahenge aur ye doubt aapko pehle se hi dikh jayega जब प्लेयर रिंग की तरफ वॉक कर रहा है जब एंटर कर रहा है जब जजेस को ग्रीट कर रहा है उसी टाइम पे यू विल गेट टू नो कि ये बॉक्सर कॉन्फिडेंट है कि नहीं है अगर कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं होगा दे आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट गेटिंग स्केड ऑफ दी ओपोनेंट दे आर गोइंग टू बी केयरफुल ऑफ नॉट अटैकिंग दे अवॉइड द सिचुएशन वो पंच मारेंगे भी तो वो पंच उतनी उतना फोर्स के साथ स्ट्राइक नहीं होगा बिकॉज दे आर ऑलवेज बी डाउट इन देयर माइंड right so for us as coaches building confidence in the player is the most important thing skill halka sa 1% kam hai but confidence 5% zyada hai i would go with that trade off uh, because just having that belief is something that's very important studies ne aisa dikhaya hai ki jo players confident hote hain wo zyada successful hote hain jo log believe karte hain that i can win this and i am better वो लोग ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल होते हैं और उसका रीजन इज दिस कि इफ आई बिलीव दैट आई कैन विन दिस मैच आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई हार्डर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव अप आई विल डू वट एवर इट टेक्स सो अ लेस कॉन्फिडेंट प्लेयर वुड गिव अप फास्टर वुड नॉट ट्राई अ मोर कॉन्फिडेंट प्लेयर विल कीप ट्राइंग विल नॉट गिव अप साइकोलॉजिकली ऑल्सो विल नॉट गिव अप विल कीप डूइंग वट एवर दे कैन सो हैविंग दैट कॉन्फिडेंस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अब हम सब जानते हैं uh, कि कॉन्फिडेंट प्लेयर्स होना जरूरी है बट वॉट आर द थिंग्स जो उस कॉन्फिडेंस में रुकावटें डालती हैं द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज एक्सपेक्टेशन वॉट डज माई फैमिली एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम मी वॉट डज माई कोच एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम मी डज माई कोच थिंक आई बी एबल टू डू दिस वॉट इज माई ओन एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम माई सेल्फ एम आई हैप्पी विद हाउ आई एम प्लेइंग तो खुद की एक्सपेक्टेशन फैमिली की एक्सपेक्टेशन कोच की एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड एट अ लार्जर स्केल कंट्री की एक्सपेक्टेशन यू नो अगर मैं अच्छा नहीं खेलूंगा तो लोग मुझे ट्रोल करेंगे मीडिया पे क्या आएगा मेरे बारे में सो ऑल ऑफ दैट द सेकेंड थिंग दैट गेट्स इन द वे इज आर पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस अगर हमने ऐसा कोई इस ऑपोनेंट से हम पहले भी हार चुके हैं वी नॉट हैड अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस एट अ पर्टिकुलर टूर्नामेंट वीव हैड अ फ्यू बैड डेज दो एस्पेक्ट ऑल्सो इंटरफियर विद आर करंट परफॉर्मेंस वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कल्प्रिट्स ऑफ लो कॉन्फिडेंस is comparisons when we start comparing ourselves to other players right so imagine i, I like to give this example agar aap log cricket khelte hain imagine indra sehwag decided to compare himself with sachin tendulkar what would happen right virendra sehwag kabhi sachin tendulkar nahi ban sakte but it's a good thing ki unhone try bhi nahi kiya kyunki agar try karte to na aapke paas virendra sehwag hota na aapke paas dusra सचिन तेंदुलकर आता सो कंपेरिजन आर पर्टिकुलरली डेंजरस एंड द फोर्थ इज आर ओन थॉट प्रोसेस हम ज्यादा फेलियर्स पे फोकस करते हैं या हम ज्यादा स्ट्रेंथ पे फोकस करते हैं हम किसी प्रॉब्लम को किस तरीके से देखते हैं और समझते हैं सो टूडे 
i am going to give you a few tricks basic things to keep in mind uh, short short points jo ki aap log sab kar sakte hain in your practice in your training to make sure that these players go out into the match a lot more confident the first thing um, i remember uh, so i work with a team of people and uh, i manage them aur usme se i was having a feedback meeting once uh, with a colleague of mine and usne mujhe bola ki pata hai jab main kuch acha karti hu to aap ignore kar dete ho you don't say anything when i do something good but the minute i make a mistake aap log mujhe tokte ho right so what happens is mistakes ko hum हाईलाइट करते हैं मिस्टेक्स के बारे में हम ज्यादा बात करते हैं जो नॉर्मल चल रहा है वट ठीक चल रहा है उसको हम साइडलाइन कर देते हैं उसके बारे में हम उसको बिग डील नहीं बनाते हैं सो इन ट्रेनिंग आपको सबसे ज्यादा यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द प्लेयर वॉट इज गुड अबाउट द पर्सन यू हैव टू स्पेंड मोर टाइम वर्किंग ऑन सो दैट वेन आई गो इन टू द रिंग आई नो दैट दिस इज माई स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट आई एम वेरी वेरी गुड एट दिस एक आध ऑब्वियसली जो वीकनेसेस हैं उस पर भी काम करेंगे बट द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम वी स्पेंड होल्डिंग ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ हैज टू बी मोर देन द टाइम दैट वी स्पेंड फिक्सिंग द वीकनेसेस सो आई गिव यू अनदर एग्जांपल द प्लेयर्स आई वर्क विथ दे डोंट लाइक डूइंग मैच एनालिसिस वेरी ऑफन वो मैच देखते हैं अपना रिकॉर्डिंग देखते हैं बट दे डोंट दे डोंट लाइक इट दे गेट केयर दे गेट अनकंफर्टेबल वाई इज दैट हैपनिंग because match analysis also we focus on what went wrong tumne kya kya galti kari usko hame pakadna hai so aap jab training kara rahe hain jab aap match ko analyze kar rahe hain video recordings kar rahe hain ya meetings kar rahe hain charo situations mein aapko hamesha strengths ke bare mein jo acha kiya usko zyada play karna hai jo weaknesses hai usko kam play karna hai you mention it but a lot less in all aspects the second thing i like to do is to make sure that i remind people of their past successes so jab confidence down ho raha hai i would ask them you know kya aisa kabhi pehle hua hai any difficult situation you've been in pehle agar yes what was it aur aap usse bahar kaise nikle aapne apne bare mein kya wo strengths thi jo aapne use kari to be able to get out of that situation so at any point your player should be able to remember at least four or five successes that they've had in the past taki jab difficult moment hoga they can think back ki i have done this before i have achieved and this is the reason i achieved because i worked hard because i'm intelligent because i'm strong because i had a support system a friend circle so this is how i know how i can get out of this difficult situation uh, i think i had mentioned this in the first session as well isko hum ek personal highlights film bolte hain ki man lo you were the man of the match aur ya aapko lifetime achievement award mil raha hota what would be the five key moments the five greatest successes that you had right try making a film about it आपके बारे में लोग क्या कह रहे होते हैं आपने वो पंच क्या मारा था दूसरा नॉकआउट हुआ सो क्रिएट दिस मूवी फॉर योर सेल्फ एज फार एज द ट्रेनिंग गोज अ फ्यू अदर थिंग्स गोल सेटिंग इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेयर्स को लगना चाहिए जैसे दे हैव अकॉम्प्लिश्ड समथिंग राइट सो एवरी डे एवरी वीक दे शुड बी अ गोल ऑफ वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू अगर हमारा गोल सिर्फ ये होता है कि आज अपना बेस्ट देना है अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दैट्स नॉट वेरी सेटिस्फाइंग राइट बट अगर आप स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग करा रहे हो योर गोल शुड बी टुडे यू हैव टू डू 10 डेडलिफ्ट्स ऑफ दिस वेट टुडे यू हैव टू रन दिस मच टाइम एट दिस स्पीड राइट इट शुड बी समथिंग दैट्स अचीवेबल राइट अगर देयर शुड बी अ 70% चांस ऑफ अचीविंग दैट गोल सो दैट आपका प्लेयर मोटिवेटेड है अगर आप बहुत सिंपल गोल दोगे तो ये प्लेयर्स बोर हो जाएंगे अगर आप बहुत मुश्किल गोल दोगे तो ये प्लेयर्स डर जाएंगे इन बोथ सिचुएशंस वो भाग जाएंगे सो वी से 70 परसेंट डिफिकल्टी पे यू शुड कीप योर गोल्स एंड यू शुड क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज वे प्लेयर्स एवरी डे फील अ सेंस ऑफ सक्सेस दे फील लाइक हाँ टुडे वॉज अ गुड डे आई डिड वॉट आई हैड टू डू एंड फॉर दैट यू मे नीड टू एडजस्ट योर गोल्स समटाइम्स गोल्स के बारे में ही हमारे गोल्स दो टाइप के होते हैं वन इज प्रोसेस गोल 
one is outcome goal so if i work with a player and they've had a match it could be a world cup match but i don't ask them if they won or they lost unko mujhe batana allowed hi nahi hai that i won or i lost ya mera score ye tha ya ye tha i tell them aap mujhe puri kahani batao tell me that entire match what were the highs what were the lows what did you do well what did you not do well because agar hum pure match ko pure experience ko ek score mein badal denge us score ki value bahut zyada badh jati hai aur players wo handle nahi kar pate right so i said before going to the match i asked the player theek hai winning losing not in our control you tell me three things jo aapko karni hai which if you do you would have played your best so players tell me previous night mujhe theek se sona hai ring mein ja ke mujhe apni footwork pe kaam karna hai mujhe apna guard upar rakhna hai anything any three things that the player needs to do if they have done those three things that means that they have achieved their goal then if they win or they lose doesn't matter the things that are most important for them to do in the match is what we focus on so hum result se focus hata dete hain hum effort pe focus bada dete hain kyunki effort mere control mein hota hai as far as comparisons are concerned like i said uh, our goals should not be based on other people so jab aap kisi ko feedback de rahe hain make sure that you don't say ki wo to aise karta hai tum aise kyun nahi kar sakte look at how that person trains you have to avoid that at all costs you have to make sure that i compare myself only with myself what was i last week what am i this week what do i need to be the next week under no circumstances should it come ki wo player to aise karta hai that person has improved so much you don't use that you don't use that at all there should be no comparisons between any two players that form nothing affects confidence as much so what are you now where have you come from what have you achieved what do you need to do next so this is the entire section on goal setting next i'm going to come towards mistakes and criticisms kyunki galtiyan players karte hain right as far as mistakes are concerned ek cheez to ye hai ki hum ya to behavior ko criticize kar sakte hain ya hum insaan ko criticize kar sakte hain right so ya main bol sakti hu ki tum bahut lazy ho ya main bol sakti hu कि तुम्हारा फुटवर्क इस सिचुएशन में थोड़ा सा स्लो हो गया था राइट right? एक जगह मैंने फुटवर्क को क्रिटिसाइज किया एक जगह मैंने इंसान को क्रिटिसाइज किया सो so, हमें मेक श्योर sure करना है कि हम प्लेयर एज को एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग क्रिटिसाइज ना करें राइट right? सो so, इसी का एक, एक और एग्जांपल है मान लो जब आपके अगर कोई बच्चे हैं वो स्कूल में है राइट right? मैथ्स नहीं पसंद आती सो so, अगर एक बच्चा मैथ्स में फेल हो गया हम या तो उसको बोल सकते हैं तुम स्टूपेड हो और वी कैन टेल दम कि तुम मैथ्स में अच्छे नहीं हो और वी कैन टेल दम कि तुम्हारी एल्जेब्रा थोड़ी कमजोर है तुम्हारी एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन ठीक है एल्जेब्रा पे थोड़ा और काम करोगे तो चीजें बेटर हो जाएंगे राइट सो इन द फर्स्ट सिचुएशन द पर्सन थॉट दैट आई एम अ बैड पर्सन इन द लास्ट सिचुएशन द पर्सन सॉ कि मेरे में एक छोटी सी प्रॉब्लम है उस प्रॉब्लम को मुझे बदलना है सो वी क्रिटिसाइज द बिहेवियर that the person is doing not the person whether it's in terms of uh, you know agar wo training seriously nahi le rahe hain unka lifestyle theek nahi hai anything at all but it should always be maine notice kiya hai ki tum phone pe zyada time rehte ho not ki you are not a focused person right so that's how we change the language and the other thing is that remember that mistakes are a part of the game right agar aap kisi match mein jaate और गलती ना होती और आप हर मैच जीत जाते एंड यू ऑलवेज न्यू की आई ऑलवेज विन एवरी मैच तो फ्रेंकली गेम खेलने में मजा नहीं आता यू वुड नॉट एंजॉय द एक्सपीरियंस द फन कम्स बिकॉज इट्स अ चैलेंज द फन कम्स बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ गारंटी द फन कम्स बिकॉज यू विल मेक अ मिस्टेक राइट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज डू मेक द सेम मिस्टेक अगेन एंड अगेन वॉट एफर्ट डू यू मेक टू फिक्स दैट मिस्टेक एंड इफ यू मेड अ मिस्टेक how quickly you bounce back to make sure that you recover right so galti karne se darna nahi hai galti se jaldi recover karna hai aur galti ko as a 
लर्निंग अपॉर्चुनिटी हमें ट्रीट करना है राइट सो दी एटीट्यूड दैट एंड दिस एटीट्यूड विट विल पास ऑन वॉट एवर द कोचेज डू विल गेट पास ऑन टू द प्लेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस दैट्स वॉट वी डू अदर देन दैट आई फील लाइक गेम के बाहर ऑल्सो देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट वी कैन डू जिससे प्लेयर का कॉन्फिडेंस बदल सकता है वन थिंग आई रिकमेंड वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली इज टू मेक श्योर दैट प्लेयर्स हैव अदर इंटरेस्ट आउटसाइड ऑफ बॉक्सिंग सो इफ अ प्लेयर लाइक्स टू रीड और स्टडी समथिंग इफ दे लाइक टू प्ले सम अदर गेम इफ दे लाइक टू हैव एनी अदर हॉबी दे लाइक टू पेंट दे लाइक म्यूजिक वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट वी इंकरेज दिस so that we develop the player 360 degrees so that just because they lose in one match unki entire identity doesn't get broken right boxing needs to be one part but one important part but we need to develop other parts of this player to create a complete person who can withstand criticism and who can play more confidently we also need to encourage confidence in our interactions with people interpersonal relationships right so even when uh, i remember when we were working with the world championships a lot of the time my focus was on the interactions in the cafeteria kon kis se baat karta hai kon nahi baat karta who sits alone and eats who makes eye contact who doesn't make eye contact ye sari cheeze bahut important hai agar photograph koi journalist kheench raha hai तो आप किस तरीके से उसको अप्रोच कर रहे हो सो विद वन प्लेयर माय टास्क वाज जस्ट लाइक यू हैव टू स्माइल विद योर टीथ शोइंग इन एवरी फोटोग्राफ दैट आई सी एंड इवन नाउ व्हेन आई फॉलो आई थिंक दैट्स द वन थिंग आई चेक इन द न्यूज व्हेन एवर देयर फोटोग्राफ्स कम इज टू मेक श्योर दैट इज दिस पर्सन स्माइलिंग एंड इज देयर बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज देयर कॉन्फिडेंस ओके सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट एज अ बॉक्सर एज अ प्लेयर दे हैव गुड रिलेशनशिप्स with friends they are able to meet people they are able to interact with people ye competition mein bahut important hoga right because let's say they are going for a world championship a lot of these people feel unsure uh, you know uh, what is their uh, some people feel afraid ki mere se english theek se nahi boli jati hai some people feel afraid looking at other people they don't feel sure they have a difficulty asking questions if they don't understand something Uh, so we have to make sure that we build especially in youth sports jahan hamare players thode younger hain yahan pe in cheezon ka hame zyada dhyan rakhna padega ki this person is confident in their day to day interactions with friends with media with coaches khul ke baat kar sakte hain body language ka role rahega right to uh, so aapke shoulders kaise hain aapki back kaisi hai agar aap niche dekh rahe ho agar aapke shoulders dhalak rahe hain obviously you're going to feel under confident but if you give a positive strong body language you walk fast your shoulders are back you look straight automatically usse confidence badh jata hai aur iske liye hum apne mind ko trick bhi kar sakte hain so even if i'm not feeling confident but if i change my body language my mind will get tricked and it will actually start feeling a little more confident iske liye kabhi kabhi hum animals ka visualization bhi karte hain राइट सो फॉर अ स्प्रिंटर आई माइट टेल देम इमेजिन कि आप एक चीता हो राइट सिमिलरली एज अ बॉक्सर यू कैन टेल देम यू कैन बी अल फील लाइक अ लायन हुज वॉकिंग इन टू द फॉरेस्ट एंड टू अटैक द प्रे सो दिस काइंड ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन दिस काइंड ऑफ इमेजरी कैन आल्सो हेल्प एट दिस टाइम व्हेन द प्लेयर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द मैच इटसेल्फ राइट जब प्लेयर अंदर जाता है मेक श्योर दैट द प्लेयर एंजॉयज द गेम right and if there's any nervousness it's okay to feel nervous right i think humne pehle bhi discuss kiya tha nervousness means fight or flight our body is getting ready to fight harder and our body is getting ready to move faster so agar aap aap jitna zyada aapka heart rate badh raha hai jitna aapka tension body mein aa rahi hai those are positive things we need to treat them as positive right the players need to enjoy that make them listen to music that's pumped up thoda patriotic gaane sunao thode wo bahut hi jo movies mein bachte hain where the player is working out and winning and exercising and succeeding make them listen to those songs as well so that they feel more energetic as a coach during the competition and after the competition is going to be your biggest role okay player is always thinking what is my coach thinking 
that is fundamental right and the player has to feel ki my coach is with me chahe main jo karu my coach is with me right i am going to try my best and whether i lose or i win my coach's attitude towards me is not going to change this is one of the biggest reasons that players struggle because they feel that i will disappoint my coach my coach will lose interest in me they'll want to i won't be their favorite anymore they'll get angry with me right it does not matter what the outcome of the game is even during the match right during the match also they'll be observing ki aapka behavior kaisa hai you need to feel calm you need to support your player no matter what chahe jo ho raha ho chahe wo pit raha ho chahe wo jeet raha ho chahe jo ho raha ho aapko ek rock banke us player ke sath khada hona hai so that the player knows ki my support system is there with me ab mujhe bas ja ke free ho ke khelna hai mujhe kuch nahi sochna hai and lastly once the match finishes again jab hum match ko analyze kar rahe hain us time pe hum successes bhi dekhenge failures bhi dekhenge aapne acha kiya and what are the things that can be improved we look at both of those things and the second thing is your attitude after the match is over so if you hug the player when the player wins you also hug the player when the player loses you don't get angry with the player you have the same attitude you accept them you tried your best i am here with you right ye nahi ki usse baat nahi karni ye nahi ki usse gussa nahi hona gussa aap pehle ho sakte ho agar wo training kharab kar raha hai agar wo focus nahi kar raha hai right but match ke result se aapka attitude nahi badal sakta again all through the focus has to be on enjoying the game the focus has to be on the effort that the player is putting and on the whole all around development of the player the focus should not be on the comparisons the focus should not be on the mistakes and the focus should not be on the result so on that note i will end my session i've given you lots of pointers so now we can take question answers if there's anything uh, thank you very much very good lecture and um, as usual you put questions in the chat we we'll try to answer we have 189 participants someone has said please introduce the speaker sorry uh, my name is divya jain i am a sports psychologist uh, i have had the pleasure of working with some members of the boxing federation for the women's world championship also otherwise i work with fortis hospital we have a question here from h bala yes as examples for few boxers until they get into the ring and starting the bout psychologically depressing being nervousness how to improve overcome and get rid of this bad quality in their competition right so two things one is what we do before the competition and what we do during the competition iska zyada kaam will be before the competition rather than during which means that we need to train this person on how they are supposed to take that competition so we need to understand what is this person depressed about what is this person nervous about to talk to them right a lot of times uh, i remember when i was also growing up and playing a sport us time to school ke coach the but the coach would say just relax right but the coach didn't ask me what my problem was so it's a good idea especially since you have so many coaches and there are so you have a lot of one on one relationship so it's a good idea to talk to this person understand his thought processes kaise hain you will find some negative error some mistake in how they are thinking so you need to figure out what are they worried about what are they depressed about and then find the solution accordingly uh yeah but before i i want to ask a question because uh, no i think one one important thing that you said is the um, that we cannot focus too much on the result and on the negativity my feeling is is many coaches and boxers they focus too much on on the result especially if it is a, a, a negative result if they have lost um yes. instead of focusing on the process on what they were doing good and whatever they can improve um but my question is we have also those cases where where you as a coach or you feel that the boxer hasn't given uh, all his potential and that he, sometimes they get accustomed to losing they get accustomed to being the number 2 or the number 3 yes and they don't make the effort to 
to go walk the way up to, to number one because they feel like it's a it's long step. Um, yes. So there, how, how, because it's easy to say, oh, don't, don't worry about the loss and this. But when you feel that you have a boxer that is not giving all and getting, getting accustomed to losing, uh, how do we tackle that? So I think that this would, again, be a more in-depth conversation. This is not necessarily something that I would talk to them about right when they're getting. Talk to them separately when they're calmer and say, hey, I've noticed this happening. What's up? What's going on? Let's talk. And I would get this person to just talk. And it may not happen in a single half an hour. It may need multiple uh, sessions. Show them their behavior. Show them what they're doing, where they're making mistakes. Ask them, confront them. But confront them in a supportive manner. Uh, this person may also benefit from a, from a psychologist if they're someone who's, who's almost self-sabotaging and comfortable to be at the second place and not reaching that first place. Uh, but just, just a motivating pep talk is not going to be enough for this person. Pep talks are very short term, right? They help you right there and then for a quick boost. So if you need that, know that your player is down and you need to get them up, you need to get their heart rate pumping, then you use your pep talks. But you don't use a pep talk for an attitude shift. That's going to take longer. Thank you. Okay, now we have a lot of questions. Yes. <laughs> you choose which one you think is, is relevant. How to motivate willpower of winning? Uh, someone, uh, just Selva, you've asked. Um, I think that, again, I would say a lot more of this has to do with the practice of it. What I notice is a lot of cases is that players do not put 100% in their training. For some reason, they believe that they do not need to put 100% effort in their winning. They typically put about 70% in training, right? Instead, you have to tell them that if you put 100% effort in training, you get 80% result in competition. So that's what's going to happen. If you put 70% effort in training, you will get 40% result in competition because that's what competition stress uh, does to us, right? And at the same time, with these players, pump them up. Pumping up would be making them jump before the match, making them breathe a little fast, thoda loud music, chala ke, thoda pep talk de ke. That's what you do if you want to initially pump up the energy of that player. How could we make one winning a game when the boxer is literally down? Um, how could we make one winning a game when the boxer is literally down? Uh, are you talking during the game itself or are you talking about this when the player is feeling low between practice if you could just clarify that how to put confidence in a boxer who, boxer who doesn't get family support well i think two things one as a coach you need to remember that you are the player's family right you are the parent you are the friend you are the teacher you are the everything so their relationship with you is going to be the biggest factor make sure that bahut stable solid relationship hai aapka and dusra hai ki aapko ye encourage karna hai ki player ko prove karna hai right box family ko nahi support karti kyunki family ko doubt hai ki ye player kar nahi payega right so the minute wo player kuch karke dikha deta hai automatically family ka support aane lagega so aapko isko as a motivation use karna hai how to control the overconfident attitude with which we find in some junior level trainees so i think confidence is good I also think a little extra confidence is also good, right? Hame ye dekhna hai ki is it going to affect my training in any which way? Am I losing because of my overconfidence? Am I not focusing enough on my overcon because of my overconfidence? Because like I told you, right? Wo mo apne sab suna hoga. Muhammad Ali when he used to go into a match, he used to tell the play opponent in advance ki how badly that opponent is going to lose. Right? Usko dara de that, that overconfidence is good. Right? But we need to make sure we look at again the behavior of the person. We tell them that listen, aapki training mein effect aa hai. you're not being able to do this as well. If you do this, okay, fine, you're overconfidence. Now try doing this. And we make sure that the person achieves it. We don't have to break their confidence. We have to make sure that with their overconfidence, we use it to push them up further. 
that okay fine you're over confidence you can do this now try doing this now try doing this now try doing this chances of an overly confident person doing well are actually very high so we need to encourage that someone has asked very very valid question do you feel that practicing on allowing athletes to make a choice rather than looking for the answer from the coach would help in building confidence yes uh, i think that that's a very valid thing i think uska thoda sa link hamare culture se bhi hai right india india mein khas kar ke we have this thing that the coach should make all the decisions uh, but yes while the coach supports it's a good idea अगर हम प्लेयर से भी कुछ चीजों के बारे में वी लेट देम मेक सर्टेन चॉइसेस वी डोंट गिव टू मेनी चॉइसेस बट ओके वुड यू लाइक टू डू दिस और वुड यू लाइक टू डू दैट हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू गो अबाउट इट सो इफ द प्लेयर फील्स लाइक दे आर मेकिंग मोर चॉइसेस दैट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प देम आल्सो यू हैव टू सी दिस आल्सो इन द केस ऑफ इफ द प्लेयर इज गोइंग आउट फॉर टूर्नामेंट्स आर यू गोइंग टू बी द कोच दैट्स विद देम हाउ डू दे रिलाई ऑन द अदर कोच are they deciding their own game strategy during the match or are they listening to the person behind them so if they're trained that they can follow their own thing that's also something that we would have to look at in advance so yes give more responsibility give more uh, slight freedom uh, to make choices it's going to help but in a very in a very guarded closed environment would you please tell me the names of the boxers who you work with in world championships i'm sorry i cannot tell you that's confidential if the coaches would like to share they can but hum log jisse hum kaam karte hain hum typically share karte nahi hain for a player what are the key points to increase mental toughness especially during competition when he found his opponent uh, more stronger than him i think mental toughness ke liye two three things we have to do uh one is understanding why this person plays right uh, understanding the challenge of it the fun of it right i'm boxing kyu kar rahe hain uh do we enjoy getting beaten up by people no we enjoy the fact that anyone can come in our way and we can stay 100% focused and we can still beat them right we need to get people to enjoy the pressure of fighting someone who's tougher than us because what's the point of fighting someone who's easier अगेन हमें विनिंग लूजिंग से फ्योर वो हटा देना है हमें बॉक्सिंग के फन पे ज्यादा फोकस करना है हमें अपनी स्ट्रैटेजीज एडवांस में प्लान करनी है कि अगर ये स्लाइटली टफर प्लेयर आ गया स्ट्रॉगर प्लेयर आ गया तो हमें क्या करना है हमें अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स पे काम करना है दीज आर दिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू डू शिखा यू आस्ट वी शुड कंपेयर टू अदर्स बट आई फील पॉजिटिव कंपेरिजन हैज नो हार्म we do get motivated when we compare ourselves with others so i believe that we should have role models right for every player growing up having someone that they look up to is a good idea uh, but not necessarily comparing ourselves with our peers uh, very few people are able to maintain that distinction ki you know ye itna kar raha hai mujhe bhi karna chahiye what also happens is that if you are then on the top then who do you compare yourself with then does that mean that you stop growing that's also a threat that some people experience uh, you know i've experienced this with racers um, uh, if you're running a marathon or something like that agar aap dusron ke piche bhag rahe ho to aap control kar lete ho but agar aap lead mein hote ho to aap slow ho jate ho so we have to make sure that that kind of thing doesn't happen so we maintain that balance fighter is heredity i think the physique some aspects would be hereditary uh, but other than that the attitude um, i think sports people can be created right i don't think that sports people are born as sports people it depends ki hum unko kitna support dete hain hum unko kitni um, guidance dete hain kitni facilities dete hain there will be some limitations of course for each player and their physical strength but i feel like it's not as much as we give it credit we need to train them we need to train them physically technically mentally also right what often happens is that uh, if we train them physically but then we put them in difficult competitions some people do well the people who do well who deal with the pressure well wo aage nikal jate hain but some people don't deal with the pressure well kyunki unko kisi ne sikhaya nahi hota how to deal with the pressure 
वो थोड़ा पीछे हट जाते हैं राइट इट्स लाइक जब स्विमिंग सिखानी है आपको बच्चे को एंड आप उसको यू थ्रो दम इन स्विमिंग पूल Whoever can learn how to swim learns, but a lot of people develop that fear of water, or they end up drowning. We have to make sure that we take this person into a shallow pool. We go in with them. We teach them how to float. We teach them how to swim. Gradually, we take them to the deep end, and that's how we develop their mental strength, rather than just throwing them in the water. uh teenage athletes happens that they don't follow the coach they use to follow other coaches or senior athletes who spoil their future i think that um, in this case and i think in most cases we need to talk to the athletes a lot more dekho aajkal zamana thoda badal raha hai right sabko lagta hai this younger generation feels like they know best uh unhi ko pata hai sab kuch sare answers unhi ke paas hai aur jo seekhna hai wo instagram se seekha ja sakta hai राइट right? ये माइंडसेट है और हमें ये माइंडसेट को एक्सेप्ट करना है राइट इट्स नॉट फिफ्टी इयर्स बैक वेर किसी ग्रोन अप ने कोच ने गुरु ने बोल दिया कि ये करना है और वो बिना सवाल पूछे हो जाएगा हमें ये समझना है और हमें अपने ट्रेनिंग स्टाइल को उसके अकॉर्डिंग एडजस्ट करना है विच मीन्स दैट वी एक्सप्लेन टू दिस पर्सन वॉट एम आई मेकिंग यू डू वाई एम आई मेकिंग यू डू इट इफ दे वॉचिंग समथिंग एल्स highlight the positives highlight the negatives why am i saying you should not person what is going to change in your technique right so we have to get the buy in of that player for them to be convinced ki ha this is what works for me it's a little more effort uh, but frankly it's the way that aisa hi hai ab hum usko accept karenge aur apne style ko thoda sa uske according adjust karenge i think that's what we'll have to do मैडम जी मैम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सर वेरी गुड लेक्चर व्हाट एज फॉर एज यू हैव गिवन द एग्जांपल ऑफ मोहम्मद अली जी ही इज बेस्ट नोन एज ए साइकोलॉजिस्ट आई थिंक द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड यस यस ही वाज नॉट एक्टिंग ओनली ऑन वन थ्री ड्रॉ मींस ही सेज ड्रॉ वर्ड इज नॉट देयर इन हिज डिक्शनरी यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वीकनेस वेयर द ओपोनेंट इज वर्नेबल हम्म anywhere he fought with anyone hmm. uh, he look at his, his weaknesses through which he can go because in professional boxing they can go for a little propaganda also now when uh, his first box with uh, sony list hmm. he was a young kid hmm. the opinion of the best uh, uh, experts pandit we say in india or the champion next champion it was that the kid is going to commit a suicide against a bull it these these were the remarks about ali against sony liston what he has one theory that if you are boxing against a hard hitter hmm. you never come you come in and go out come in and go out hmm. so if the you are boxing against a hard hitter and never allow him to hit his punches in way in this way you win two ways hmm. the boxer lacks his confidence which he is having in his punches secondly physiologically also if the hard punches misses hmm. then he goes mentally little uh, uh, you uh, rash mm-hmm. unthinking or uh, uncontrolled whatever you say in psychology yes. that was his aim that uh, you bring anything in a mind of that boxer where he is irritated with your uh, thing what is going on yes uh, i defend your point here yeah. yes so this uh, i have discussed with one of the greatest psychologist of the so mm-hmm. what once that happened then he was a very easy target for him yes. five six round he was coming in and it was a strategy you have to build that boxer he was coming in and going out mm-hmm. and uh, many of the punches were missing when he thought now he is not able to land the same number of punches he gave him the very good counters and he knocked out him out and he right. became a world champion that was the mm-hmm. first when they were having a rematch he mm-hmm. told first bout i was afraid from you because you were a champion now i can knock out you within a, your horse within a first round <laughs> the second rematch he knocked out sony liston within the first round of the four, one minute and 40 at second then he was boxing against one more great boxers uh, normally we see we have a poetry you are better as a uh, doctor in psychology he he catch hold one word of floyd peterson he was a olympic champion he was a previous world champion his name was starting with f he what he you know what he told to him Hmm. you can never win against me because your name is starting with f f is a sign of failure 
and what he told to that person, you will freeze with fear and fell to the floor. When you are boxing against me, you will fall to the with fear and freeze to the floor. Mm. And same way, when uh, George Foreman uh, was boxing or Archie Murray, there are long histories. What as a boxer we take when we are talking about the performance structure in boxing, you have a technical, tactical, physical, and psychological aspects. Psychological we divide in two: your intelligence as well as uh, confidence and risk taking. He was one of the best in both these aspects. level of confidence risk taking and especially to annoying to the opponent uh, means it is in a boxing but when we are boxing uh, the first uh, which a better a psychologist can do during his training he has to form some habit in the boxer through which he can irritate maybe through his attack maybe through his defenses maybe anything which has to be done in the practical That then these good. things are experimented in about if he goes uh, successfully on those aspects then definitely i think you can help us a great you, uh, for achieving our other target yes so uh, the the one of the professors uh, in germany when he was coming for the psychological class uh, in the class he was always putting his hand in front of a mirror and was asking one question did you see anything hmm. some of them say see we have seen the shadow of your hand some we have not seen anything he hmm. says psychology is like that if you look at that you will find everything if you can't look at that you will yes. find nothing so that's i yes. what i wanted to add in that ali ali was the one of the biggest psychologist and what he was doing he was uh, looking for that boxer when the bout was arranged what are his weaknesses which he can exploit during the uh, last season mean the 10 days or when they are there at the weight uh, uh, venue of the competition or where the bout is arranging then there he was fully coming out those things to exploit to irritate him to uh, uh, lead uh, him towards more con or to uh, put his confidence uh, or lack in the confidence thank, thank you, you. Uh, so there were a couple of more questions i'll just quickly mm-hmm. take those uh someone had said that uh about role models about my sachin and sehwag example uh, that had come up ki he doesn't uh, does looking at uh, competition and looking at other people uh, inspire us uh, i think having role models is important right but there are two types of role models one type of role model is someone whose values i believe with right so i can be a boxer and i can still look up to a sachin tendulkar because of how calm he is because of how uh, gracious he is because of his ability to persevere or i can look at someone in my own sport right but even in my own sport i need to look if i have a role model i need to look at their life story i need to look at their their hard work i need to look at the effort that they put in they may or may not have the same technique as i do right so our role model can be one someone who's very close to us in technique who we can use to master our skills which we do in collaboration with our coach if they find it necessary otherwise we look at role models not in terms of comparing results but the effort and the hard work that that person puts and the other thing someone had asked was about how to bounce back when the boxer is actually kind of down during the match i think it's important for us to practice this i feel like the player needs to have a plan of what happens when he's down right because if we're just doing school sparring and boxing in our stadium and this player is not used to being down in practice and doesn't have the strategy doesn't know what they're supposed to do they will not be able to get up at that point so you need to have known in advance what do you need to uh, tell this person i remember i was talking to a uh, filer sir uh, about this and he asked me you know do i remind them about their family do i remind them about their country do i keep quiet and i think that it's interesting to be able to ask those questions because we need to have that conversation with the player what is it that motivates them when they are down so ask them about their previous experiences when have they felt down it doesn't have to be in the match it could be at any time you know they got a bad result they got some problem happened personally what did they do how did they bounce back kya koi image banayi unhone apne dimag mein which motivated them kuch players ke mind mein kuch music bajne lag jata hai which motivates them someone needs to hear their coach's voice and then it, the coach needs to know what to say at that point to that person to wake them up 
it could be a word it could be something as simple as come on it could be a larger topic of conversation it could be eye contact if you can make it it could be cheering for someone but this plan needs to be formed in advance the player and the coach need to work on it together and uh, and that's and it needs to be individualized i think we've answered all the questions that were there okay great uh, one one last question yes will friendly, will friendly competitions work in confidence building yes i think having more and more competitions is a good idea but i i don't distinguish between friendly competitions and non friendly competitions i think it's all the same i think whether you're whether you're fighting with your brother in your room or you're fighting in the ring you want to win every time uh, but you want to focus on your process every time also so combination much more match exposure but the attitude needs to be the same whoever you're fighting with wherever you're fighting okay great thank you so much great lecture i think it was very very valuable for everybody thank you uh, tomorrow same time we have uh, our last lecture and we'll we'll uh, make a little summary and um, go into into some topics and make some clarifications okay thank you very much you see all you all tomorrow thank you thank you Divya. Bye. thank you